Hi everyone, I am Didi Bernard and this is Didi Dynamics. Okay, so a while ago I recorded myself making a sweet potato pie for the first time and I never uploaded it. I don't know where is that. Might be in this phone, maybe not, I don't know. But um ever since then I've made it like at least five times. Probably seven. It's a fan favorite if I must say so myself. But I don't eat sweet potato pie, but everyone else loves it. But anyway, since I cannot find the footage of myself um, making the sweet potato pie, I have decided to record myself again making it. This is like my 10th time making it. Yes, I skipped numbers. But so, yeah. And I'm about to show you the steps or whatever. And also, I am going to make some Cajun sauce. It's like a remix of someone else's recipe. But I substitute some things, you know. But you will see. With that being said, let go. Oh, y'all see my um, refrigerator? So I've been a substitute teacher for like some years now. It's when substitute stuff, like all my drawings and everything. And I'm now back in the school working and shit. This is this is my cake wasn't. This is my first year. And there's me right there. And then I was given this name. I had to retire it though because I got slower. But back to regular programming. Let's get started on these sweet potato pies. Put y'all on first to these ingredients. Uh, so you need eggs, milk, nutmeg, cinnamon, vanilla extract, sugar, and sweet potatoes. Make sure it's a pound of sweet potatoes. Like this is about a little under a pound and this is about a little over a pound. I was going to make them together, but then I figured that the taste wouldn't be as strong. So, therefore, I'm just going to put one potato for each pie. And, of course, you need pie crust. I bought mine frozen, even though I bought mine in a sheet thingy from the little box. And I didn't feel like dealing with that, so I just got two deep dishes frozen. So, first, what we're going to do is boil these sweet potatoes so we can skin them. Okay, so I am the type... To wash everything so right now I am washing my sweet potatoes and when I wash them I put them in the pot so we're gonna let this boil I'm gonna go ahead and wash the other one too we're gonna let this boil for 40 minutes 40 to 45 minutes and I'll be back when it's done while we're waiting on the potatoes to boil, I am going to be making the Cajun sauce um, because I'm making collard greens also for Thanksgiving. You already saw how I'm having my collard greens. So I'm making collard greens and a lot of people like to eat hot sauce. Where I'm from, a lot of people like to eat hot sauce with their collard greens. So I just figured, you know, why not just make this sauce because like I want to try it anyway. So it's just an excuse to make it. So I was watching Hello Honey with Jeannie Mai Jenkins and she had Jeezy's chef Delroy up there made some Cajun sauce and I want to try to make it. I don't have his exact ingredients because I went to the store. I just came out from the store and everything is gone. Like everything. But I'm going to show y'all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. Just like his recipe, it'll be half an onion diced finely, uh, flour, a quarter butter, chicken bouillon. Um, he had smashed garlic. I couldn't find smashed garlic in a jar. I couldn't even find a garlic in the goddamn produce section. So I'm going to try to use minced garlic to see if that works. And then over here, he said heavy whipping cream. Uh, that was sold out too. So I'm going to try to make my own heavy whipping cream and try to mix this cornstarch with, corn with this milk and see if it works. Also, he had someone called... Paul, I forgot. I'll put it somewhere in the screen. Paul something magic, black and season, e whatever. Um, I don't have that, so I'm going to use slap your mama because like it's, it's Cajun, so I figure it'll work. So we're gonna see how this works. So let's see got water you also need some water yeah so right now I am about to try 
to chop up this onion like it's supposed to. I love the smell of raw onion. Like, am I the only person that like it burns my nose? But like, I love the smell of it. I can get my skin off. Hold on a second. Okay. And I took my brace off too. I fractured my wrist. You see the difference? It's so skinny. Yeah, but yeah. So I just washed it also. So I think he said something like. It was burning my nose. To like. Put it this way. That's dangerous for me. I'm going to go this way. And then. I'm going to. Cut those. Off. Bear with me. I have a, a fragile wrist. And then I'm going to. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Hold up. Okay. I'll take that part off. Okay, so we're gonna finally be straight. So real skinny. I'm gonna go back and cut these two. I should have probably cut that. Other way, so I just go by and do this and make a mess. So I gotta start recording. You wash my hands and finish this. I'll be right back. Uh, almost. Goodness gracious. I cannot be a chef because, like, my arm is tired. I don't know if it's because of me recovering from an injury or I'm just not used to doing fine dicing. But, like, it's becoming a bit much. Okay. So now I got to do this with the other side, with this one. And I'll be right back when I get done. And the reason for him saying they should be this small is because he wants them to dissolve. Hopefully, they do that. Because, oh, I got onion all on my floor and table. Oh, wow. But, this is pretty much done. So, I'm about to put this in the skillet. Hey, this shit would be good as fuck. I just damn chopped it. So, bear with me. I put the onions in there and now I'm putting the butter. Right now I have it on medium because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And now it calls for, he said, one fourth tablespoon of crushed garlic. But I'm gonna get this minced garlic. I'll be right back. Boom. And he said double that, so let me go get another one. Boom. Now I'm gonna stir this. This is where the tricky part comes in. Get this one, that sauce is added. I don't have that sauce. So I'm adding slap y'all mama. Now he says one tablespoon of flour. And the flour is there to absorb all of the butter. So I'm gonna stir this until it is absorbed. And just for timing purposes, I'm not going to record this part because I only... Y'all know me. I never have storage on my phone. So that's what the problem is right now. So I'll be right back when I get done stirring all of this. This is where the half a teaspoon of bouillon come in. Y'all, I don't think I cut these onions small enough. I'm using a whisk now because he had a whisk. This is hilarious. And now I think I add the water. How much water? Let me go look at this video. Hold up. So a cup of water. 
I don't know if this is gonna taste right, y'all. <laughs> oh my god, I did not cut them onions up small enough. Okay, now let's see what else we're supposed to do. Over here, I put in what I googled, like heavy whipping cream substitutes, and it's my cutting board. That's what it's dirty. And they were like two tablespoons of cornstarch into one cup of milk so that's what i did the recipe only calls for well the sauce only calls for a half a cup but i'm just making a cup because they didn't have a half a cup recipe and i'm not in the right mind to try to calculate that so i'm stirring that up um probably should whisk it hold on a second let me get this other other whisk and i'll be right back so i decided to use the same whisk since it's going into the same pot but yeah so i'm whisking it i cannot see how people drink regular milk it just i don't like the look of it i drink almond milk but eh, whatever fucks your boat so i'm gonna put in a half a cup of this into the sauce i am definitely making a mess of my kitchen i just spilled some of the heavy whipping cream but I'm gonna put this in here. Let me with the whisk. Now stirring this. I can't add some more flour, can't I? Because I look a little loosey. Yeah, I didn't chop the onions up small enough. Look, they still here. No oh, well. I can strain it. But yep, so the sauce is ready. I'm probably going to add some more flour to it, though. And that's it. So now I'm just 10 more minutes until the potatoes are ready. So, yeah. I don't know how much I added, but I tried to put a flour in, and it was a lot. So it thickened up real fucking thick, like thick as fuck, like Kim Kardashian, Nicki Minaj thick. And so I tried to simmer it down with some more of this concoction um it worked a little bit then i added some water then it started getting tearing apart and shit and then i add some more of my concoction and this is what it looks like it's actually coming out pretty nice i still have to drain it though because of the onions and it tastes amazing oh my god i want to eat this with some fried chicken like dead ass but this is the sauce fin I want to try it. This is a nugget from. This is hot. I just took it at my microwave. From. I hope. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck I just made. But it is muy delicioso. Like. I don't know what it is. I don't know what to call it. Name suggestions. I don't fucking know. Mistake. I'm going to call it that. Oh, my potatoes are done. Right now, I'm just going to do one at a time. As you can see, I'm literally just taking off the skin. It's hot, so watch out. Just taking off the skin. I have a paper towel in here, too, to catch it. And then I'll be right back. Okay. Now that it's bucket naked, I'm going to smash it. Smashing this. Smash. The key, like, to make smashing easier, I know a lot of people, like, do like this. The easiest way to do it is to smash, twist. Smash, twist. So that'll make it easier. So now I'm going to add the next ingredient. Based on the realization that I do not have enough butter. Like you're supposed to put one full stick in one. And I only have three half sticks. So I just decided to go ahead and mix them all together. So it got to be softened butter. So I'm going to just double everything for two sticks. I only have three. So I'm going to just put all three of those motherfuckers in. Soft and let me go soften them. So that's the butter. Oh my god, I hate having one hand. There's the butter softened. 
And you gotta stir this. I forgot how messy this fucking pie was. And then I wanna add the sugar, one cup. So two cups since I'm doubling it. Hold on a second, y'all. It is hard to concentrate. Two cups of sugar. Half a cup of milk, but we're doubling in it. So a cup of milk. And then we have two eggs for each pie. So that's four eggs. Let me go get the eggs. So I added the eggs. Go ahead and stir those. And now it's time for a half a teaspoon, well, a teaspoon of ground nutmeg and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I've always wondered what does nutmeg taste like. I've never actually tasted it alone. Like, I only taste it when I tried this pie. I do like the taste. I love the taste of cinnamon, though. I put cinnamon in my pancakes. Can't. It's hard for me to eat pancakes without cinnamon, actually. And now I'm going to do a teaspoon, well, two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I am a messy chef. I got this stuff on my damn white shirt. And I was not white no more. It's cool. It's cool. It smells so good. So we're going to stir this in or beat it if you have an electric one. Until it's smooth. It looks pretty smooth. Well, except for those goddamn potato. But that's fine. So this is ready. I like to let mine sit for a little bit. I don't know if anyone else does, but I like to let my mixture sit and then I pour it into the pie crust. Here are my pie crust. Um, after it sits for like five minutes, I like to go ahead and pour it in there. They're nine inches, I think. So. And they go in the oven for an hour. So, there's that. Just test the pies. They are not done yet. As you can see, it left some stuffing on the knife. That's the way to see if it's done. You want to um, stab it in the middle. Not done. So, I'm going to leave them in here for like 10 minutes. And then come back. And then I'll add five. So they're finally done. It's just got messed up my stove. They're finally done. A little crispy around the edges. Because I had to keep adding minutes on it for it to cook. It's finally done. So we let these sit for two hours. And then they'll be done. That's it.